Hi, I'm Matteo Frana and I'm the founder of React Bricks. Welcome to the second part of the React Bricks demo series. In this part, we'll really look at React Bricks demo. So what you see here now is a website that I scaffolded using the CLI and this was a project uh, with Next.js. I chose Next.js and Tailwind as a CSS framework. Well, you see the front-end content and here there is this edit content button that it's simply a link to the uh, slash admin folder where the admin interface uh, is. But since I'm already logged in, you see that there is also this uh, button here in the right bottom corner and uh, uh, I can click it to directly edit this page. So I click it and this is the Rack Bricks editor interface. On the left, you see all the pages of this website. So I can change page, for example. And uh, here in the center, I can directly edit the content. So I can change this text, for example. I can set uh, styles, for example, bold, or I can also uh, add a link here. And uh, really you can uh, choose for every rich text which features you want to enable. You have uh, order list, an order list, uh, highlight, italic, bold, etc. And uh, uh, for each feature that you enable, you can provide your own render function. So it's very flexible. And uh, on the right here, you have the sidebar where you can edit all the props of this component that are not directly edited in a what you see is what you get way. So for example, I can change the color of this headline and I can change the background color for the component. And everything that you see here on the right is not fixed, but it is defined by this content block. So this content block, which is really just a React component, uses uh, React Bricks uh, uh, visual editing components like text, image, repeater, etc. And it has a schema which defines these sidebar props. So this content block defined that I needed two uh, collapsible groups, one layout with this uh, color select uh, control and two select uh, for the borders and another collapsible group which is uh, which has name title which contain this uh, text gradient here and uh, a title size radio. These props that you set here are passed to your React component and you can choose for each prop which type of control you want on the right. Rebrix is so flexible that you can also define a, a custom component to edit a prop. So for example, if you don't like Rebrix default color picker, you can provide your own color picker. It's simply a value on change interface. Well, uh, Rebrix has also the concept of uh, uh, nested blocks. So for example, you see that these two buttons have their own uh, properties. And you see that there is this item tab here because you have three uh, levels, page, block, when I click on the block and they set the props for the block. And when I click on a repeated item, I, you can see that there is this item tab here where that I can use to move the uh, item or change the props for each item. Very well. Now, let's see how you can edit uh, images in uh, React Bricks. If I click on this image, you see that there is a pop-up where I can upload a new image. For example, now let's uh, uh, upload uh, the image of the React Bricks team and I can provide an alternate text and a SEO friendly name. And now, for example, here I can 
use a new another repeater and add two features great for devs and great for content creators okay and I can change the props for each one of these very well another thing that I'd like to show you is that you can test your content at different resolutions and you can define uh, the resolutions that you want to test uh, the, the breaking points in the uh, Rackbricks configuration and you can also test uh, your components in dark mode if uh, your uh, bricks are uh, dark mode compatible you can provide your own toggle function to change uh, to dark mode and uh, well you can also see a full screen preview which uh, shows exactly what you will see on the front end okay now let's click on the page tab and here you, you have the property for the whole page so the visibility the structure that can be locked or unlocked if I lock the, the structure of the page you see that you, you uh, don't have any more all these uh, uh, remove block uh, add new block uh, and the buttons to sort of duplicate a block and it is a way to be sure that uh, your editors will just be able to change the content but uh, not the structure of a page so they will, won't be able to change the order of the blocks or add or new blocks or delete blocks then you have page attributes like slug author publish date you have the tags feature image seo meta tags and you can also define new uh, custom fields uh, using Rebricks configuration you can add new custom fields uh, that uh, are accessible to your uh, components using uh, uh, Rackbricks hooks and these custom fields uh, um, can have uh, all the control type that you can use for blocks so for example you can have uh, custom fields that are edited using select uh, using uh, color pickers and also using your own custom components well now I'd like to show you what uh, the playground is the playground is a sort of documentation of your design system because you can see all of your uh, brick types and you can click them and play with uh, with them changing the text the props and as you change props you see uh, the resulting uh, json of the content here and you can copy it to set it as the default for when you add a new brick of that type here on the settings instead you can change the setting of the app really we can do it just because we are an admin user of this app and we can set the app name we can change the languages so for example I can add Italian I can change the default language and I can provide a build web hook since here I am creating a project with static generation uh, as content as content changes uh, we have to uh, trigger a redeploy on uh, the server so for example on uh, Vercel or Netlify and uh, in this way we can uh, set the uh, in this case the post web hook uh, uh, and that needed to be to be called when the content changes and if we create an editor user which has the permission to trigger a build a rebuild uh, he will see this deploy now button in order to update the content on the website really Rebricks works uh, with any policy so for example uh, server side rendering static generation or with the next JS also with incremental static regeneration now that I saved if we go back to the editor we see that there is this tab with English and the new tab with Italian has appeared if I click here it uh, says that there is no an Italian translation for this page and I can create a translation now I can change everything and this will be the Italian translation of this page 
Rubrics is also already integrated with Next.js uh, internationalization routing so that uh, you can already have uh, your uh, routing in place for uh, subdirectory routing or uh, subdomain routing or also uh, second level domain routing. Okay, very well. I think that we saw the main features of the Rubrics editor and uh, in the next part uh, we'll see the code so we'll see how a brick is created in code thank you